what is up guru gang if you are new here welcome to my channel today you guys i will be sharing perfumes that i will be switching over to if you did not see my perfume tray from march then definitely check that out i will link it up at the top but this is going to be the perfumes that i'm going to rotate in these are scents that i've been craving some of them are newer to my collection some of them i've already been wearing and you guys may have seen in previous layering videos so definitely check out my layering playlist as well i will link that up at the top please double check and make sure you are subscribed as well it literally takes a split second look to your bottom right make sure you are subscribed if you enjoy my content and want to continue to see me pop up on your feed but without further ado you guys let's go ahead and jump into it so the first fragrance we're going to start with is actually one that was on my tray last month and that is paco rabanne's fame now i do have a full size of this but i wanted to just go ahead and keep this on my tray so i could go ahead and finish it up but you guys I am totally obsessed with this. This fragrance is a mango, vanilla, woody fragrance, but to me, I feel like all of the notes kind of combine and come together to this very beautiful floral, a little bit warm vanilla scent. This is definitely not your typical like generic fruity floral. Like this definitely has some depth, some layers, and it just smells like a perfume. It even has a little bit of this cosmetic powder vibe as well, which I think makes this smell more perfume-like. But I just think that all of these notes together kind of combine to this really beautiful feminine floral fragrance. So definitely recommend you guys check this out if you have not tried it yet. I know you can pick this up from Sephora right now or Ulta, whichever one works for you, girl. But yeah, highly recommend this one. The next one is actually a perfume oil. This is the Nest Turkish Rose Perfume Oil. And I put this on my tray last month as well, but Honestly, I just did not really wear it. And I finally realized what this reminds me of, you guys. On Fragrantica right now, this is being compared to scents like Delina or Angel Nova by Mugler. And I definitely get those vibes. It has kind of like this sweet, tart rose fragrance, like a jammy, fruity rose fragrance. And it smells amazing, but it also reminds me heavily of Burberry Her, the Eau de Toilette, the green juice. It just kind of smells like those very fruity, juicy rose scents. And I typically am not really a rose girl, but I do love really warm vanillic rose fragrances. And I also love fruity, musky rose fragrances. And this definitely hits that mark for me. It's also very long wearing. So I will be using this a ton with my more fruity floral combos. And I usually always just hit my pulse points with these perfume oils and then go in with my fragrance on top. So I'm definitely gonna be getting a lot more wear out of this. And the last perfume oil that I have, you guys, this I actually got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls in like a set maybe, I don't know, a year or so ago. I really don't remember, but I will have this linked as well as everything else linked in the description box. Of course, I greatly appreciate anyone who shops my links because that does directly support me and my channel. Um, but yeah, so I cannot find the rollerball of this, but I do have a full size body oil of this scent because it is that good. This is the Olivia Care Apricot Fig Perfume Oil, y'all. If you love super juicy mouth watering peach scents, that is all I pick up in this. And what you guys know, apricot and peach pretty much smell the same in perfumes, at least in my nose. And this is just, this smells like peach nectar. It smells so sweet and just mouth watering. I was wearing this, which is part of the reason why it's almost empty. Um, I was wearing this with my Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. When I tell y'all I was smelling like the juiciest peach in the tree, like it just smelled so bomb. So yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and finish this up, but I do have a full size body oil of this. And if this wasn't a rollerball, I would try to refill it. But as y'all know, I just don't really like rollerballs, but I just have been loving this, totally obsessed with this. Let's go ahead and jump into the full size fragrances. Some of these I'm so excited to put back on my tray and start wearing. The first one being Burberry Her Elixir. Y'all know if you have been following me for for a little while this was one of my most worn since last year this was literally one of my faves i wore it through the fall the winter like this was just that girl for me this is probably my personal favorite out of the burberry her range i love this more than the og i love this more than the eau de toilette and the eau de toilette is my girl but this is just such a sexy feminine spin on burberry her elixir honestly i feel like 
this is definitely gives me cold weather vibes to be honest with you i feel like that kind of woodiness in the base of this just makes this a little bit more sticky and resinous so this definitely is a fragrance that i was wearing a lot in the winter but honestly i'm very curious to see how it does in the spring and summer because there is some heavy jasmine notes in here but this is mostly just a very creamy powdery strawberry vanilla and amber fragrance but I definitely get that jasmine as well. So I'm very, very excited to be getting a little bit more wear out of this again because I was totally obsessed with this for a little while. And I actually did need to take a little break from it because I was starting to get tired of it. So I'm super excited to have her back on my tray. Another one I have been raving about. I talked about this in my spring gourmand perfumes video as well. So definitely check that video out. I will link it up at the top. But y'all, this is Kaoli's Yum Pistachio Gelato. And I do have a full on review on this fragrance if you guys are interested. So you can check that out to hear a little bit more in depth. But y'all, I've just been super obsessed with this. I'm literally halfway through the bottle if you guys can see. And I can see myself finishing this before the summer is over you guys this is primarily just a citrusy powdery fruity spring gourmand like this literally smells like a pistachio gelato i don't really get a whole lot of nuttiness from the pistachio but more so just that creaminess of it and just making this feel a little bit more dense and thick but it's also super light and airy like literally it mimics the feeling of a gelato which is one of the things that i really love about it so again i'm not going to go super in depth about it if you guys want to hear more definitely check out that review up top um but yeah i'm totally obsessed with this and i'm super happy to have it on my tray for the next few weeks the next fragrance you guys is one that i really have not worn okay and this is just one of my qualms with mancera fragrances honestly most of the mancera fragrances in my collection i wasn't loving them the first few times that i wore them or sprayed them out i've realized that with most of my fragrances from that house i have to spray them out and let them sit so this was one of those fragrances for me this is velvet vanilla by mancera and this is basically to me first of all y'all get into this bottle i'm so sorry everything is backwards because i'm recording on the other side of my phone today but this bottle is just the most beautiful like ombre sunset effect i absolutely love it but this the scent itself to me there are lots of fruits and things like that in the opening and it's got a slightly bit of a floral vibe but to me the tuberose and the vanilla dominate this fragrance to where you get this super bubblegummy sweet tuberose vanilla combo and that's all that i smell so the first couple of times that i wore this i was kind of like girl this is real loud the tuberose was real strong like it was a lot going on but the past few times that i've worn it more of the fruits and things like that start to come out in the opening and it just turns into this very like warm vanilla tuberose fragrance this literally smells like sunshine and vanilla like i don't know how else to explain it y'all but it just has this warm euphoric effect when you spray it out it just smells sweet it smells happy like this is just one of those fragrances that i just feel like is so fun but at the same time it's not immature or anything and this is a very crowd pleasing fragrance as well a couple of times that i have worn this out definitely got compliments like one of those things where you hug someone and you just feel happy type of fragrances that is velvet vanilla so definitely cannot wait to get some wear out of this mancera is just one of those fragrance houses that you have to spray things out and revisit them before you completely write it off the next one on my list is one that was also on my tray last month but this is fineries magnetic candy y'all when i tell y'all i'm absolutely obsessed with this fragrance it smells so amazing i did not wear it a whole whole lot so that's why i decided to put it back on my tray because i really want to show this some more love do some more combos with it there's the perfect balance of this powdery floral which i believe is coming from violet but there's cotton candy and also pomelo so the pomelo gives it this very bright citrusy vibe that kind of uplifts the whole fragrance and the cotton candy really just adds that warm sweetness so it's not immature this easily could be a niche fragrance to me you guys like this reminds me heavily of scents like killian's love don't be shy and parfums de marley oriana which i feel like for me personally oriana can kind of lean a little bit too heavy on the orange blossom and it just 
it just kind of deters my like for that fragrance but this is just so well done it's just such a sweet fluffy fragrance but it also has that kick of citrus that really uplifts this and makes this smell much more like luxury and high-end so yeah this brand is definitely like if you can get your hands on some of these at your local target definitely check it out because they are absolutely worth the price and they are long lasting this one in particular i feel like is probably the strongest of all of them and the longest lasting so yeah the next one on my list is a new current favorite current obsession i just received this fragrance not even a full month ago and i have been totally addicted to this okay this is van cleef and arpels orchid vani and this is just the most perfect spring vanilla gourmand year round honestly i get just this very creamy citrusy powdery vanilla chocolate like this reminds me heavily of if you guys have ever smelled Choco Violette by Mancera, this smells like a more toned down version of that. Like This is just such an easy reach, which I know sometimes, at least in my mind, sometimes my niche fragrances are not always like those easy grab and go fragrances. Sometimes when you, when you think of an easy grab and go fragrance, you automatically reach for like your designer or your cheaper fragrances basically, but this is a niche fragrance that can absolutely be worn day or night, casual, dress it up. This is perfect for layering as well. This just smells like creamy citrus milk chocolate. Like there's no other way for me to explain this. It's warm, it's cozy, it's delicious. Like you literally smell like a walking bakery. And this is one of those fragrances that when you wear it, you cannot stop smelling yourself. So yeah, absolutely love this, like totally obsessed with it. And super excited to have it on my tray this month. Next fragrance is one that I picked up in an Ulta haul maybe like a month or so ago and I got this from Amazon but this is Al Haramand Janun Noir. Now I picked this up because this is said to be a dupe for Dama Bianca by Zhezhov which I have never actually smelled but it is on my wish list and it's just one of those fragrances that you don't just blind buy. So I was like, let me at least try this dupe, see how I feel about it, see how I like it. Because so many reviews were saying that this is a spot on dupe for Dama Bianca, which is said to be a very powdery, almondy, citrus type of fragrance. And if you guys cannot tell, those are three scent profiles that I absolutely love. So this one to me, with a lot of these Arabian fragrances, I noticed this, I don't always love them in the first couple of sprays. So I definitely had to spray this a few times and let it sit. And it's been maybe two or three weeks since I revisited it and I wore it yesterday and I'm definitely feeling this one, you guys. I definitely get a lot of that lime or there's lime and kumquat in the opening. So you get this citrusy vibe and honestly, it can lean a little bit sharp. But as this dries down, those powdery florals start to come through and then the vanilla as well. So I wouldn't say that this is like a gourmand powdery vanilla. In my opinion, this is definitely more on the fresher side. Like this reminds me a lot of Burberry Brit for her. Um, It kind of has that same creamy almond citrusy vibe. But I feel like Burberry Brit is definitely a little bit more sweet, whereas this leans a little bit more fresh. So I do think this is going to be an easy reach. So I'm excited to get a little bit more wear out of it because I have noticed that it's more fresh and clean vibes in the first few minutes of it. And then when it dries down, it definitely gets sweeter and a little bit more gourmand. So I'm excited to play around with this one so I can update you guys and let you know what my final thoughts are once I get a few wears out of it. This next fragrance is from Orientica and this is Royal Amber. Now this is the scent I just recently talked about in a layering video as well. And this is said to be a dupe for Herba Pura by Jorzhoff. Y'all, this is so good. If I didn't have like three perfumes on, I would go in with another layer of this, but this is so good. I did an entire review on this fragrance as well in my Arabian fragrance ranking video. So if I have any cards left, I will link it up top. But this is definitely a super juicy, tropical fruit, musky, woody fragrance. I know that sounds like a lot going on, but this is gonna be so good in the spring and summer when it gets hot. Like this just gives me one of those easy fragrances you can just throw on if you're gonna be outside, like if you're going to an amusement park, a cookout, a pool party, like this just smells juicy. I get a lot of pineapple, I get this super sweet like gummy bear type scent, 
but then as it dries down you start to get this kind of creamy woody musky scent so that makes it smell a little bit more elevated and not like super juvenile so i love this you guys i get a ton of compliments on and this just layers well with so many things so super excited as you guys can see i've already been wearing this so yeah next fragrance is by comptoir sud pacific this is vanille extreme um i know i've talked about the vanille apricot a lot on my channel but i do also have a small bottle of the vanille extreme and i grabbed this to put on my tray because i really do want to have an easy grab and go simple vanilla scent and that's what this is for me this is a powdery vanilla it has notes of vanilla heliotrope and milk and to me this kind of smells like powdered sugar in a way like it's creamy also kind of has that artificial play-doh-y smell so if you like scents like hypnotic poison by dior and things like that this kind of leans along those lines this is just such a doughy, dense, one of those vanillas that you can almost taste when you're wearing it, but it just, as it dries down, it turns into this sweet like vanilla cookie scent. So I just think that this is gonna be another perfect spring gourmand fragrance that I can use for layering. Probably going to finish it this year, and I would probably just repurchase a bigger bottle because like I said, this is one of those easy grab and go vanillas that's not gonna be too loud, but you are still going to have a nice cozy scent bubble. The next one is going to be Jessica Simpson Fancy. This is a classic. This is probably a scent a lot of us probably wore when we were a lot younger, but I just love this y'all like to me it still smells amazing if you are a gourmand lover i feel like it has such a beautiful blend of this creamy floral but the apricot the caramel just warms this fragrance up and makes it smell juicy you smell like a fruity baked good this is another super affordable one that you were always going to get compliments on as well. Like I wore this in my mom's house last night and all of my family was telling me how good I smelled. So I think I layered this with wrapped in vanilla and that new Tree Hut um, body butter. Amazing combo, y'all. Amazing. So yeah, it was just smelling so delicious, so syrupy sweet, sticky sweet, but also not in a way that's cloying because I know a lot of fragrances like that you would probably want to wear when it's colder outside but this just does it in a way where it still smells delicate and feminine and it just has so many layers for this to be such a cheap fragrance so this is also a scent that i didn't like 100 percent love when i first got it this is definitely one of those scents that just gets better as it ages so now that i'm about halfway through the bottle i definitely want to go in and start wearing this a lot more my next fragrance on my tray was another one of my faves from last year this is c fiori now this flanker is discontinued you guys so even on fragrance net right now it is sold out so i will try my best to see if i can find a link but it's going to be very difficult and you guys may just want to search mercari or something but this is just the best C flanker to me. This is another fruity floral. And a lot of people say that this smells like a strawberry milkshake or something. And for me, I don't really get that vibe. But to me, this just smells pretty. It smells like a pretty girl. It smells like a fairy princess or something. It just smells soft living your best life or living, you know, the soft life. I feel like this is the epitome of that because this fragrance just feels kind of ethereal kind of like fluffy girly playful you know so this definitely i get a lot of that black current in the opening of this but the neroli and the orange and also the oak moss kind of gives it a little bit of this green factor but for the most part it just kind of brings the fragrance to life it almost smells a little bit like something sparkling if that makes sense but this is definitely just more of a fruity floral vanilla and then as it dries down you definitely get more of that vanillic creaminess so i think that's why a lot of people kind of say this is a strawberry milkshake type of scent but i don't really get that vibe i mostly just get a very beautiful pretty sweet floral that dries down into a little bit more of a vanillic creamy kind of vibe but this is another one i always get compliments on it's amazing it just makes me feel beautiful it makes me feel feminine and yeah totally love this one i've been missing wearing it and i'm super excited to bring it out to play in the spring speaking of feminine fragrances that make me feel beautiful this is floral marshmallow by dossier and as you guys can see i'm almost done with this so i do plan on finishing this up now this is a dupe for killian's love don't be shy 
and i just love this you guys like i would completely purchase this over love don't be shy because honestly i just feel like this lasts longer than love don't be shy and also it's like three times cheaper than love don't be shy so of course i don't mind splurging on my fragrances y'all but i just feel like when you have a dupe this good sometimes you don't even need the more expensive option so this is definitely one of my favorite dupes for sure like it, the performance is the bomb it smells so warm and just delicious I wore this to target one time i was kind of mindlessly spraying this y'all when i tell you every aisle that i walked into it at target where there was someone there i was getting compliments on this like people were asking me up and down what i was wearing so i will have this linked you guys and also if y'all didn't know this is sold at some walmart so i will probably provide y'all with the walmart link because sometimes the dossier shipping is like really weird so yeah i would definitely pick this up from walmart if you can um but i just absolutely love this you guys it's just such a warm fluffy marshmallow scent and it just smells delicious like this just smells delicious i have no other words to describe it if you have never smelled this or love don't be shy it's just such a sexy warm flirty fragrance and i just love it girl if you are into very very sweet marshmallowy fragrances i definitely think you should check this out next on my list is rose gourmand by zara if you guys have been following me Y'all know how obsessed I am with this scent and I put it away for quite a while because honestly y'all this dent that I put in it I probably put this dent in there over the course of two or three weeks and then I completely just got tired of it and had to put it down cold turkey but y'all this is one of the best scents from Zara ever okay and that's coming from someone who's not a huge floral girl this smells so amazing i've put so many of my friends and my family onto this scent this smells so expensive for what it is it is long lasting you get a nice scent bubble it's just such a creamy jammy rose there's just such a sophistication about this it smells feminine it smells like a woman but this also smells like a very approachable like inviting woman as well there's just something so intoxicating and inviting about this yeah i just love this y'all like it's a soft creamy rose so do not let the rose throw you off even if you are not a rose girl this is said to be a dupe for roses Vini by mancera and i can definitely agree with that i've also seen some people compare this to intense cafe by montal but that's a vanilla rose fragrance but it also has coffee in it so i can't really see the correlation there but definitely smells like roses vanille to me and if you are looking for a cheaper way to try that fragrance without having to blind buy it i would definitely recommend rose gourmand the next fragrance on my list is one that i have really not worn at all and i really cannot speak to performance and all of that but this is a scent that i got for christmas um if any of you guys watch my what i got for christmas video i mentioned it in that video this is the newest jado flanker this is j'adore parfum de eau which basically means of water i believe so this one is actually a water-based fragrance it is not derived from alcohol like most perfumes and honestly y'all the one time that i did try this out it lasted a really long time on me this is definitely a super floral fragrance okay and for me to not be a super huge strictly floral girl like this doesn't even touch the fruity floral category for me this is really just a very soapy green floral but something about this is so beautiful on skin to where it makes you smell like a woman like it makes you smell just like you have your high heels on you have on you know just a nice flowy dress you're out at brunch or something like this just smells like a woman he walks by you and you catch a whiff and you're just like she smells amazing like it just and it also kind of smells like a fresh spring day i don't know how else to explain it you guys but this was a pleasant surprise for me when i smelled it i was like wow this is a really beautiful scent like i don't say a lot of perfumes are beautiful this is a scent that really just smells beautiful it smells feminine it smells grown and sexy i would not say that this is blind by safe honestly so i would say definitely try it out in store first 
But like I said, I do not typically buy strictly floral perfumes. That's not really my vibe. But this one, I was pleasantly surprised with. And the last fragrance I will be adding onto my tray, you guys, is Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose. This is also a fragrance that I got for Christmas. And I actually put a nice dent in here um, during that time. But I kind of stopped wearing it because, I don't know, something about musk musky fragrances i like to wear them more in the hotter weather the spring and summer so this is a very musky fruity rose fragrance i honestly don't get a whole lot of rose in this at all i more so get a lot of that plum in the opening of this and then as it dries down i just get a lot of musk there's also tuberose and vanilla in here so i really just feel like it just kind of comes together to create this very beautiful sexy seductive type of fragrance so i'm very excited to see how this does in the heat on me this is kind of close wearing but i've noticed that even when i feel like i can't smell this on myself i always get compliments on this so i'm thinking that the scent trail of this is crazy because the reactions that i get when i'm wearing this are very surprising and this is also a super popular perfume like apparently this blew up on tiktok at some point and it's super hard to find so i would think that by now maybe they've caught up so of course if i find a link i will have one in the description box for y'all so y'all can check this out but yeah this is definitely a very crowd pleasing scent like even when i feel like i can't smell this on myself i definitely get tons of compliments and it's just very feminine very sexy very mysterious kind of vibes if you know what i mean but it's also not anything overpowering and i think this is going to do really really well in the warmer months all right you guys that is it for the perfumes that i will be wearing over the next few weeks honestly am i going to stick to just the ones on this tray probably not i'll probably grab a couple of other ones here and there layer these together do my combos and of course y'all know i will have layering videos as well but I really just want to get back into my collection, not add so many new ones to my collection right now. Like I'm really focusing on trying to finish a few perfumes up before I start buying anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay along my perfume journey with me. But that is it for today, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.